All right, guys, some more coaching news. Um, a couple of rotating parts here at AM. So I'll tell you guys what is going down at AM and then at Syracuse. So Elijah, Elijah Robinson, I believe a long time defensive line coach at AM, really responsible for recruiting that incredible 2020 class. At Texas A&M, Elijah Robinson, he's pretty much getting elevated um, to be a defensive coordinator, and he he will be he will be calling the plays at Syracuse. Okay, and um, so again, it's a step up for Elijah. It's it's exciting, um, you know that defense at A&M. Um, Still, still was a decent defense, and Elijah Robinson's been one of the best recruiters in the country. I mean, he was able to get Walter Nolan. Walter Nolan, I'm still holding out hope that he's this elite level defensive, at, you know, interior lineman. He was the number one player in 2020. Um, you also got, I think, like Shamar Stewart is a guy. Maybe I'm, I believe that's they have somebody from Chaparral, Arizona, that's in that class. That's an edge rusher. Um, a and M man, that 2020 class from the defensive line perspective, like I'm gonna read you the guys on A and M's defensive line. It's an elite unit. So Elijah Robinson, and, and also, also Mike Elko wanted to keep Robinson, but now this Fran Brown staff is being filled out. Okay. And it's a very, I, I like this hire from Syracuse. I do. And it's going to be the best of the best recruiters. That's what they're going to do at Syracuse. They're going to hire the best recruiters. And I think that it's pretty smart. I mean, to hire the best recruiters and try to get in the best talent. All right. So yeah, Walter Nolan was on this defensive line. Um, Shamar Stewart, like I said, only a sophomore. Nolan's only a sophomore. These guys are going to play probably two more years of college football. Gabriel Brownlow Dindy from Miami was a five star and he redshirted. So he still he still has a great chance. Um, to be, uh, he still has a chance to be really impactful. So this this A and M defense and the defensive line, Elijah Robinson was the best recruiter um, in the twenty four seven rankings. Okay, so there you go, uh, Elijah Robinson. The Syracuse really liked the move uh, for Fran Brown. He's going to be calling plays now, which is very interesting because he's just been a defensive line coach, so he's going to be calling plays for the secondary and the linebackers. Probably, uh, again, he's going to be collaborating, but it's a tremendous opportunity, and it's an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to call plays, and um, I'm really happy for Elijah Robinson, and this is a tremendous um, – like I said, this is a this is really going to be his shot to lead a defense. Then you have Sean Spencer, Sean Spencer, guy that you know was on the New York Giants with Joe Judge, and it didn't work out for everybody in that staff. Florida's defense wasn't good at all in terms of you know, in terms of defending the run. Um, or in terms of really defending the pass. And they were very young with the defense of Austin Armstrong. So maybe if Sean Spencer had another year at Florida, he would see the benefits of the groundwork laid at, at Florida. So Sean's bounced around a little bit. Um, now getting hired by a and Mike Elko and him, you know, go way back and have a very good relationship. Sean Spencer, you talk to Sean Spencer or watch him interviewed, very enthusiastic, very upbeat, was a really, really good coach for Penn State and James Franklin from 2014 to 2017. Sean Spencer was a really good defensive uh defensive line coach and then the Giants ended up getting him just like Rob Sale 
And that move didn't end up working for Sean Spencer or anybody because Joe Judge and that team ended up failing. But Sean Spencer, I guess, has been around Leonard Williams. He's been around Dexter Lawrence. So he's been around really good interior linemen. And then at Penn State, he's also been around really good linemen. So he's bounced around a little bit, meaning that he hasn't found that great, great success with a defense as of late. Um but he could still recruit and there's still hope that he can be just really successful at A&M. I think it's a decent hire, but again, the last few years just have been rocky putting it, uh, putting it Frank. I mean, with, you know, the New York giants and then with Florida, those haven't been great defenses, but Sean Spencer, I mean, he was, he was really sought after from Penn state. So he still probably has that ability. And and with Mike Elko, it could make for a pretty good team with Sean Spencer. So again, I want to see Sean Spencer, you know, really find success and stabilize himself at AM and and probably have like a good at least f- five year run with Mike Elko and this be, you know, a spot that he enjoys for this part of his career. Um, because it's been very hectic in terms of him bouncing around, um, you know, from the New York Giants. And then this Florida defense was not, this Florida defense uh, really struggled early on. But the thing is, I like Austin Armstrong, okay? I like Sean Spencer. I think that these guys can, I, I think that with time, um, they will eventually really succeed. And Sean Spencer was recruiting an elite like like class in the top five. So him and Elko get along. I think it's a pretty solid hire. I mean, this guy's a veteran. This guy was under James Franklin and Brent Pry. All right, this guy is, is again, very connected in college football, definitely knows how to coach the D-line, and has been doing it for a pretty long time. So, again, we're going to see how great this A&M class can be. You have Walter Nolan. You have all these guys that Elijah Robinson recruited. How is Sean Spencer going to maybe elevate these guys this year? It's a great opportunity for Sean Spencer. So, Elijah Robinson, understandably, goes to Syracuse, wants to get the chance to call to call plays Fran Brown and him likely have a very strong relationship and that's going to be intriguing to see I mean that's a high risk high reward type of deal because he's never called defense so how's it how's it going to work on the back end how's it going to work with you know defending the pass I'm sure he's going to you know be relying on secondary coaches too but from all his experience I believe that he is very qualified to be a defensive coordinator. So we'll see what Elijah Robinson, no one has seen it yet. Sean Spencer, a safer hire. You are maybe a tad worried about, you know, the last couple spots in all honesty, maybe the New York Giants or maybe this Florida defense. Okay. But we're going to see the, we're going to see if it's, it's a really high upside. We're going to see how that defense works. So, you know, a couple of very interesting moves out of College Station um, and Syracuse, New York with Fran Brown.